Hello there everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode number 48, and as always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter, at smthomas3. You can hop on over to CodeKarate.com and sign up for the newsletter, and check out all the other videos and posts on CodeKarate.com. You can also find me on Google+, Plus. just search for, for Shane Thomas or Code Karate or something to that in those regards and you can probably find me on there. Today we're going to be talking about the login destination module and this is going to be a pretty quick episode because the module is relatively straightforward and it's definitely a helpful module in certain circumstances. It's probably not something you're going to need on every website you build but if you're building a fairly complex website or some type of web application a module like the login destination module can definitely come in handy. So to get started, I'm going to hop on over. I have a brand new site that we're going to take a look at, I believe. I need to find where it's at though. There we go. So as you can see, I don't have anything installed on this site yet. It's brand new. Nothing on it. I'm going to go ahead and download using Drush the login destination module. Go ahead and give that a download. And I'm also going to enable that module. Now that that module is good to go, we'll go ahead and take a look at it. As you can see, the login destination module is here. I will go ahead and click on configure. And now you have the login destination interface. And basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to define specific rules of how you want logins to work within your site. Um, some examples of where you might need to use this. Um, if you're, for instance, an e-commerce site and you want anytime someone logs in, you want them to be redirected instead of to their user page, which is the default in Drupal, you want them to be redirected to a sales page where it shows a listing of products that are on sale or you want to bring them to a recommendations page or if you're building some type of web app and you want every time someone logs in, you want them to go to a dashboard page can also work with various roles so if you have different roles maybe you want an administrator to be taken to some kind of report page to show them the status of the site where you want just a customer or another type of role to be directed to a different place on the site so as you can see it's very flexible you can use it for a whole bunch of different purposes but we'll go ahead and show a few examples so the first thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on add and we can select we want to redirect to a page so we'll leave it at the front page for now and you can say you can have specific triggers so when a user logs in registers or uses a one-time login link we can have them go to the front page so we'll go ahead and do that for now and you can limit it to specific pages so it'll only redirect either if you want to exclude just the ones that are listed or only the ones that are listed. So this could be if someone was on a blog page, any blog page on your site, and you wanted them to be redirected back to the main blog page, for instance. Or you wanted someone who was on a contact page and then they logged in to be redirected back to you know, some other type of page dealing with contacting the, the website. And here's where you can limit it based on roles as well. So we'll go ahead and save this. And as you can see, that's set up there. So we're going to go ahead and log out. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the slash user page. You can imagine that there'd be some type of login link on the site somewhere, and I'd get to this page. Now when I log in, instead of going to my user page, I'm navigated right back to the home page. So that one's pretty simple. Generally, I would have been taken here but with this new rule I get navigated to the home page. Let's go ahead and add a page here. I'm 
I'm going to build just a very simple static page called logout. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in to the configuration and I'm going to add a login destination rule. Let me find what this page is. I'm going to make I'm going to go ahead and give it a path. I'll call it logout page. So now we want to redirect to logout page and only on logout. So we'll go ahead and save that. Now as I log out, you can notice I'm on the home page. I log out. It logs me out and it brings me to the logout page. It says thanks for visiting the site. Pretty simple. Uh, one thing you'll notice here is if I log in here from the side block and I go ahead and click log in I'm brought back to the home page which is expected because that's how we set it however if you want when using a login block to still automatically have it use the destination parameter which is what it uses you can go to the settings and you can check this which is just going to preserve the destination parameter so we'll go ahead and click save we'll show you what that should do now if I am on the logout page and I log in and it really doesn't matter what page I'm on but when I log back in it's going to keep me on whatever page I was on so if I add another page and want this to be a, an about page so I could be on the about page logout I'm going to be taken to the logout page but if I come back to the about page here which we would assume would have a link of course now I log in it's going to keep me on the same page just as it did before because I'm preserving that login destination parameter. However, if I would click on a login link that you may have on your site after I'm logged out and I'm on the actual login page, I will still have the normal behavior that we defined to go to the home page. So as you can see, it's pretty flexible. It, there's really not a lot to this module which just it keeps it simple it allows you to do what you need to do you can redirect people when they log into different areas of your site depending on where they're at and you can use it just to really control how people navigate and are led around on your site when they're actually logging in and logging out so that's all there is today like I said it's a pretty simple module but it can be very useful in specific situations so go ahead and take a look at it and let me know what you think if you have any other ideas for modules or videos that you'd like to see me put up, go ahead and contact me You know, using one of the methods either on Code Karate or Twitter. And we will be back again next time with another video. Thanks for watching.